Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin, and we're going to be taking a look at docking stations here on the channel over the next couple of weeks because the folks from Kensington who manufacture docking stations like the two I have in my hand here have sponsored this video and a few others will be doing so that we can better help consumers understand what this technology can do as well as finding the right dock to connect to your computer based on what it has inside. Now you might be wondering, what do you need a docking station for? And I think the answer is pretty simple because our laptop are getting a lot more powerful to the point where they uh, might also work very well as desktops. But as they get thinner and lighter, they don't have as many ports available. And maybe when you're on the road, you don't need all that many ports. But when you get back to your office, you probably want to hook up your networking connections, attach an external monitor, and also, of course, charge your laptop. And there's no better example than this little MacBook here, which has a single USB Type-C port. Uh, so when I plug this cable in here into this Kensington USB-C dock, what's going to happen is, is the laptop's going to start charging, yet I'm going to get my display mirrored out to this monitor here. I'm also going to get access to all of my other USB peripherals on the desk, including my uh, mouse here, for example, so I can move things from one screen to the next with this mouse. And I also have a keyboard attached via uh, USB here, and I could have external drives, additional monitors. Basically, it turns this little laptop with a single cable into a desktop, and it it charges it all at the same time. It's great stuff, but there are some things you need to know first, and that is what we're going to explore in this video. Now, before we get into this, I do want to remind you that in the interest of full disclosure, this is a paid sponsorship by Kensington. I work with them on developing the content you're about to see, and they have also reviewed this content before it was uploaded. Now, I have three different Kensington docks on the desk right now because each of these docks supports a different type of connection technology back to the laptop. So I've got three laptops here that we're going to pair up with each of these docks based on the technologies that those laptops support. So we're gonna start off with a low-end laptop that might also be representative of older laptops as well. And this one has two USB 3.0 ports on board for its USB connectors. And that means the only dock that this laptop is going to work with here is this one. This is the SD3500V USB 3 dock. And I'm going to step through the features unique to each of these docks in a minute, but just know that because we've got these square USB ports and only these square USB ports available to us, the USB 3.0 dock here is going to be the best solution for this particular laptop. And with that SD3500V, you can give yourself a roomier keyboard along with a mouse or a trackball. You can also add in, of course, two full high definition monitors with the help of a little software on your laptop and that'll let you get your emails and other home office stuff done a little faster. Now the next laptop I'm going to take out is a higher end device and this one has more USB ports available to us and as it comes into focus here, you'll see some of them. So on first blush, we've got the USB 3.0 connector here like we had on the lower end laptop. So this would work with the USB 3 dock, but uh, this device has a USB Type-C connector on board, and that means it could also work with one of these two devices, the USB-C here or the Thunderbolt dock. And on closer inspection of that USB Type-C port, uh, you'll see here that we've got a little lightning icon that shows up next to that port, which means that this laptop supports Thunderbolt. And my recommendation is that if your laptop does support Thunderbolt, then you should go with the Thunderbolt dock. And that is the silver one here. This is the SD5200T. And this will be the best experience you will get for your current Thunderbolt 3 laptop and probably the next one you buy too. It has speeds up to four times faster than USB Type-C. So you'll be able to transfer high resolution digital camera and video uh, back to your computer quickly. You can back up to external solid state drives really fast. And you'll also be able to connect two 4K displays plays at 60 frames per second while you're doing all of that. Like USB-C, there's no software or drivers to install. You can do this all through a single cable, including charging. So you just plug it in and let that fancy laptop do the rest. But just know that Thunderbolt ports are also compatible with USB Type-C. So this dock would work with it also. But again, the better pairing is the Thunderbolt dock with a computer with a Thunderbolt port. So uh, that is my recommendation there. So that leaves us with USB Type-C. And I've got uh, one little laptop here from Apple. This is the little MacBook, and it's got a 
single USB Type-C connector on board, and that is where I would recommend we bring in uh, the Kensington SD4600P to connect up with it. This laptop, because it cannot uh, work with Thunderbolt, will not work with the Thunderbolt dock. Even though the port looks the same as this port does, it doesn't have the Thunderbolt circuitry inside uh, to make use of Thunderbolt technology. So your only option uh, with the little MacBook here is going to be the USB-C dock here from Kensington to get everything connected. But with that SD4600P, you will get all of the benefits of USB Type-C, including the ability to connect up a 4K display along with all of your USB accessories, and you can charge your notebook with a single cable. So those are my recommendations based on the computers that I have here on the desk right now, but I do want to spend a little bit more time talking about USB Type-C because uh, every manufacturer is implementing things in a different way, and I uh, want to cover some of those things and give you some things to think about. So uh, in the case of the MacBook here, we've got a single USB Type-C connector. Uh, when I plug in this dock with this one cable, uh, this laptop will charge through the dock. Its full charging capacity will come through that cable. It will also send video out to my monitor through this cable. So uh, I plug this into the computer, and then I can plug my monitor into that HDMI port, for example. And I also get access to all of these USB data devices, including these USB ports here. I can plug in my Ethernet network to it, for example, so I could have uh, hard drives and keyboards and everything else working all through a single connection to the computer. And uh, Apple has chosen to implement all three of those main functions, power, video, and data, on their USB Type-C port. But I have encountered computers that don't do all three. And in those cases, what might happen is that in the case of a computer that does not support video, uh, you'll be able to use the data portions of the dock. If that USB-C uh, port does support power delivery, you can charge your laptop, but you won't be able to use the uh, display connectors on there. And the best way to find out what your manufacturer supports is to give them a call or send them an email. Don't be scared to contact them. Uh, USB Type-C technology is very new, and consumers are trying to make a, uh, get a feel for exactly what their devices can do. So I am sure you will not be the first call they will get on this question and I'm sure they can get you an answer very quickly, so then you'll know what you need to know uh, before purchasing one of these docks. And if your computer, like this little MacBook here, supports all three of those main USB Type-C functions, it is really plug and play. Uh, you pop in that cable and everything will come to life and you've got yourself a nice way to dock your computer at your desk. And like USB Type-C technology, Thunderbolt supports those three functions through a single cable as well. That is power, data, and video. And I found in my experience that Thunderbolt-equipped computers tend to be a little more compatible with all three than I've seen on uh, the USB Type-C side of things. But again, uh, contact your manufacturer just to make sure you have everything you need to connect your dock up to your laptop. We're going to do uh, separate videos on each of these docks, so we'll look at a little bit more about some of the individual features of each, but uh, just know again that if you've got a Thunderbolt computer, I think the Thunderbolt dock is the best option. And if you are using one of these USB 3 docks on an older computer, there are a couple of things that you need to keep in mind as well. Uh, the first thing is that these docks do not provide power delivery to your laptop. You still need to plug it into the wall uh, with its power adapter. Uh, the second point to note is that uh, the video output on here is running through a special driver called Display Link that you'll have to install on your computer. That will add a little bit of overhead to your computer, not a lot. I've seen it run on very inexpensive, like $200 or less PCs without any issues, but you do need to have that driver installed first in order to make use of these ports. It's not a direct connection uh, like you'll get on Thunderbolt or USB Type-C. And as a result of this, you want to make sure that you have the dock plugged into a USB 3 port on your computer. Usually, uh, those ports are blue in color, like we saw on the laptop a few minutes ago. Uh, but in some cases, they don't change the color of the port, and you have to look at the little label that is silk screened onto the computer itself. And I'll give you a great example of this. Uh, this is a computer I reviewed just the other day. It has USB 2.0 ports right next to USB 3.0 ports. They're both the same color, 
but one is much slower than the other. And the only way to tell them apart is that the silk screening above the USB 3 port has a little SS next to its USB icon. That's how you know that is a USB 3 port. So if you are plugged into a slower port, you might see some issues with the video output on here and other things may not work as fast as you might expect them to. So make sure you got it plugged into the right port. So that's going to do it for this introductory video for the Kensington docking station family. And we're going to be taking a deeper dive next into each one of these docks in separate videos. So if you are uh, curious about one in particular, you can see exactly how it works and how it connects up with a compatible laptop. So until then, this is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters, the Black Eyed and Blues Music Hour podcast, Chris Allegretta, Steve Blixt, Stanley Taub, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.